With the recent scare of pandemic flu, you might be more alert if someone near you is coughing or sneezing. But sometimes an illness could be in the early stages without those symptoms. Auburn University professor David Pasco says that's where thermal imaging could come in handy, especially when traveling. There are some strains of the disease that actually show up with a fever. Uh, so that this temperature, which we call a febrile temperature, is an indicator of a, the disease state. Uh, with the pandemic screening, uh, and this first uh, became very clear in the news with the SARS epidemic a few years back, uh, they started scanning people at the airport looking for these temperatures. And so what they're trying to do is pick up individuals that had a higher temperature than what they would expect. Now this could result from heavy activity, um, but this could quickly be discerned by a uh, second interview or other different kind of methods from that of a pandemic or uh, a disease state. Pasco specializes in thermal physiology. He uses cameras like this to see how a person's body is maintaining a steady temperature. If I were to ask you your core temperature, you'd tell me it was 98.6 Fahrenheit. The fact that you would give me a 98.6 and that level of accuracy is quite astounding in light of the fact that uh, your answer was not based upon what clothing you were wearing, what the outside temperature, whether you were active or not active. And these are various kind of uh, factors that can have an influence on it. And when your body's temperature varies, that's when the camera can help determine what changes you are going through. One of the unique ways the body handles uh, a, an insult to it by disease is that basically we increase the temperature, have a fever, and basically cook that uh, pathogen to death. Um, and that's how we, we kind of deal with it. So in this case, uh, the temperatures that we get are very mild. We can have very uh, high temperatures related to exercise. In the case of a person, uh, in most cases, if I'm running from one terminal to the next terminal in the airport and I come up with an excessive temperature picked up by this infrared screening, I would then be directed to secondary screening. Uh, at that point, they could look at my temperature, uh, quick questionnaire, medical questionnaire, find out if I came from an area in which the pandemic has been located, find out if I have been exercising, might give me a period of time, um, or, or why not to try to deal with it. The added benefit of using thermal imaging is you don't have to be physically touched. Infrared thermography is a machine that actually detects heat that the body gives off or any object that gives it off. So non-contact, non-invasive, we can actually then uh, get a temperature um, with, uh, from an individual. In the screening situation, it might be as uh, just a slight delay as you walk through. Um, uh, so much like you do right now with uh, some of the screening that you go through for um, materials and whatnot. PASCO also studies how clothing can regulate a body's temperature. While this may look like something a superhero would wear, he finds it can make the hottest athlete, animal, or even plant much cooler. This, uh, it's a silver cape and actually made with a material called aluminate, uh, which is a, a, a very good heat sink and it, that it allows temperatures to actually, um, the material silver in itself reflects uh, about 50 percent or this this kind of weave and woven design that we chose we can change that in accordance to the weave that we pick but the one we've been using is about a 50 percent blockage of that radiant heat so we're blocking 50 percent of that sunlight that might be coming in and providing the heat but it also has properties as well as being a good heat sink as I mentioned and actually changing some of the airflow that's around the the individual or animal that we're kind of using um, the applications that we've been seeing is, has been for um, it has been used on golf courses. It was actually developed for plants. Uh, it's been used for golf courses to reduce the temperatures on the turf. Uh, but in our case, we're looking at uh, reducing some of the heat exposure temperatures that we see with individuals, uh, both human and animal. Pasco says these different types of material have come a long way in keeping you safe from extreme temperature changes. We have moved from a society in which we wore clothing, which was based upon the materials we had to actually being able to engineer materials now that can handle temperature, temperature regulation and heat transfers in a very different manner and very much uh, help us as far as uh, being able to thermoregulate.